can't stand it. So I'm kind of depressed because Stephanie is still not back. She actually gets gets home this weekend. It's been bachelor life uh, for this past week. I got I got to say, you know, went camping last weekend. The camping pretty much continued uh, here. Uh, I had to had to do a flashback into bachelor mode, but I'm really excited for Stephanie to come home. I miss her. It's quiet here, and Winston's gone. I miss him too. We're ready to get get him back. One of the biggest keys, guys, I'll give you a big piece of life advice for you young men out there that are getting married. You gotta do box maintenance. It's time for box maintenance. We got three boxes here at the door. The old man came today. We already know what this is about. MTB Pro Box, pretty excited to have that. I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow. And I'm really excited because I'm going to a place I've never been to tomorrow. And I'm taking a kayak. Second box. Now I know what this is, and I really need it. Lens Pro to go, you see on the outside. There's this service, you see, that allows you to rent lenses online. They have a website. Unfortunately, I didn't have a backup lens right now. I love my, my Canon 24 to 105 uh, L lens, but um, the image stabilization went down, and I was out of the lens. It's going to take about seven business days. I can't be shut down from filming more than that, so had to get me a lens. <laughs> this is hilarious. Look, they have this little lollipop that they include in there. A blow pop. I don't think I've had one of these since P-Ball days. That's not the important thing, obviously. Here's the lens I rented. Only only goes out to 35 millimeters. Starts at 16, though, so it's really wide. Um, should be good for filming in here. There we go. Much better, right? This would be a great lens in the boat because you can get up really close. You know, inside the boat is a uh, it's close quarter situation, so helps to have a wide angle lens sometimes. All right, so we got one more box here, and this is from Dave's Signs. I know exactly what this is. Okay, before I open this, there is a there is a uh, website makeawoodsign.com. You go here. And they show you how to do wood signs and they, they make custom wood signs for people. Okay, and they also have a YouTube channel. They asked me if they could make a wood sign for me. And I was like, of course. Okay, this is pretty dang cool, guys. Eric and Dave over at makeawoodsign.com, they made this for me. This is really cool. This is definitely going up on the wall. Thank you guys. And uh, they also have a YouTube channel. And they even, they even branded it right on the back here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they included their, their little YouTube handle right here. Oh my gosh, they have a video up. Yeah, so they have a, they have a video up right now of a sign that they did for me. Okay, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys go through that, but thank you guys over at makeawoodsign.com. Thank you, Eric, for reaching out for to me. And this is really cool. Looks bad to the bone. Appreciate it. It's, it's real bachelory in here right now. You know, I I did go grocery shopping once. It's uh it's kind of bare in here. Not much going on in the meat department, uh, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna have to go with some just some old potatoes that I cooked. Wish I had some bacon. So that right there is my kayak, and I'm going to be taking that out tomorrow. Let me show you why. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a missing wheel due to a hub blowing out. And let me just tell you, when you blow out a hub, there are consequences. This is a spindle. It got completely destroyed by this massive groove cut in it by the uh, the wheel that was leaning about 45 degree angle and it just cut right into it so 
in turn that does that does damages um, to the overall situation here the spindles beyond repair so what I'm gonna have to do is get a new axle I've already ordered it axle would be this guy right here um, new axles ordered comes with new spindles and hubs so it's all gonna be good but um, but basically my rig is down old red she's uh, she's a good horse but you know she's been driven all over the country um, or at least all over the the southern states it was bound to happen it happened I'm getting a new axle should be here in a couple weeks so I'm yakking it and fishing with friends until then I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and load the kayak up why not go for the morning. Rolling out. Guys, I got a problem. And it involves <sighs> freaking donuts. Why did Shipley Donuts decide to put a place right next to where I live? You're passing this a donut place on Saturday morning. It's irresistible. It's a problem Okay, I just got to the lake it looks amazing and it's time to do the slam so I'll catch up with you when I get off the water So I was getting ready to drop my my kayak in the water and guess what? I forgot the mystery tackle box at home <laughs> Unbelievable huge fishing error mistake the Fish are already winning on me today Oh, okay, now we can do this. I gotta stop for a uh, donut break. Actually, a apple fritter. Look how big that is. Okay, I'm standing on this dock and there are just absurd amounts of bluegill. So, we'll see if we can get them to come on up. They're ready. They want it so bad, I can't stand it. So, there was a lightning storm. Had to get off the water. I don't do the lightning. I don't mess around with lightning. Um, one time when I was on the water, I got utterly frightened by lightning. And I had some fishing friends that had told me that had been struck or, or had, get, you know, basically had a strike really close to them. What happens? And I was out on Lake Fork one time. The sky turned really green. And it really hadn't started lightning yet, but you could tell there's a storm. I was thinking that the fishing was going to be good before a front coming in, and I went way back in a stump field. Stupid. The static electricity in the air started building up, and my hair started standing up all over my neck, and you know, you could just feel it. It was like tingly, kind of like pop rocks in the air, if that makes sense. And my line started to float in the air. I was throwing a weightless worm. It, the weightless worm would not even go down. It was just staying at the uh, at the surface. It wouldn't sink because my line was trying to float up in the air. Every time I would raise my rod, it would go woo, woo. Scared me. So I got under the uh, the console. I dropped my rod immediately. Got under the console, and I was thinking, Oh God, I'm about to get hit by lightning you know, just brace for impact, basically. Didn't get struck, I could just feel that tensity in the air. And I, I started my motor and I basically put it in gear and idled out of that stump field for 10 minutes while under the console, scared. And since then, I don't stay on the water when it's lightning. This weather's brutal. I'm never gonna get to mow the grass. I'm gonna get in trouble when Stephanie comes home. I fished too much, didn't mow the grass. So they got Toyota Fest going on right now, guys. I guess they call it Toyota Fest now. It used to be called the uh, Toyota Texas Bass Classic, which I competed in. 
years ago. That's me right there from the event. That's going on this weekend. Keith Combs has won it like every time, basically. Yeah, I'm not fishing it this year. Let's take some questions, shall we? All right, guys, so I'm gonna uh, pull some questions uh, off of the comment section on YouTube here. In the future, if you want me to uh, answer questions on the vlogs, you know, hit the like button, let me know in the comments. You can go to my Facebook page for next week and ask a question on the Facebook page. And uh, so I'll answer them uh, next week. But this week, this is the first go. So I'm just gonna pull it off YouTube. All right, Blake's asking, what action rod should he get for throwing the hyper sticks? Medium heavy, I guess you could say. Now the particular rod that I really like to use, it's a eight, uh, I'm sorry, 852. Uh, that's the particular rod I like to use, that 852. It has good meat in the backbone of the rod and then it's got a soft tip so I could really throw the bait really good. Um, then feel the bites and set the hook. That, Rod's great for any kind of Cinco style bait you're throwing, including the hyper sticks. Somebody just pointed out that uh, I spelled stick bait wrong in the description. It actually says uh, stick balls. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Thank you, Spencer, for pointing that out. I can always count on you guys to check my spelling. We've got files that are importing. I'm actually gonna make a, uh, a time lapse and I think I'm gonna start cooking. I'm gonna go cook something. Sausage, noodles, skeddy sauce. Good to go. Change of plans. I don't really know how to cook. We're going to get Stephanie. She's back. Look who it is. <laughs> I'm back. Stephanie's back. The long awaited guest wearing her hat. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> See you later. I get a little donut. They like it.